Hey, this is James Glass, um, and I'm here working on my tiny home. And what you're looking at is a 240 volt baseboard electric heater. I got these for free off Craigslist. Uh, the baseboard heaters are not my primary source of heat here. What's actually going to be my primary source of heat is up there on that wall, there'll be a 12K ductless mini split for the living room and kitchen. And then each bedroom will have a 9K unit. But we do get some days here that are super, super cold, single digits, and the ductless mini splits are not going to heat. There's no backup resistance heater in those ductless, the ductless units that I'm buying. So I needed some kind of resistance heat for those days that are super freaking cold. And hence, 240 volt baseboard heater is perfect for that. Because my house is so energy efficient, remember I got the triple walls that are R34. I've got up to R60 in the ceiling. Um, everything is super tight. It's so tight that I had to put in that energy uh, recovery ventilator. Even though this is inefficient, and even though it's very expensive to run these electric baseboards, like I said, two, three days out of the winter is the most I'm going to need to run them. And the house is so tight, it won't be too bad. Okay, so what's the difference between single pole and double pole thermostats? Well, um, it's really pretty straightforward. I'm putting in double pole thermostats, which has a true off. See, it says off, low, and high. So as you turn that little knob there, you can literally turn it to the off position and there is no power to this unit no matter what. No matter how cold it gets, a double pole thermostat will truly turn your heater off. And that's what I want here because I already have a primary source of heat from the ductless mini splits. These are just the backups. Um, so I'm cool with a double pole. And what that means is a double pole is two. There are two hot wires. This red wire here, line one, and this red wire here, line two. By the way, when this thing goes beep, 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 that means voltage is present. It's an inductive um, uh, pickup, and it's just awesome if you want to find out whether voltage is present in your line. They're like ten bucks. Um, so I've got um, I've got 240 volts coming in. These two. Well, now the black, these red is line one in and line one out. The black is out of the switch. Now watch what happens when I turn the switch from the off position. Let's turn it to low. I now have power coming into black. And now when I turn this back off, and I turn it to truly off, this guy is absolutely off. Single poles thermostats, on the other hand, are always powered and actually come on automatically at 40 degrees. And that's really cool if you want to make sure that your house never freezes. If the baseboard heaters are your primary source or you have one in there at all times and you have it turned all the way down to the lowest position, you know that heater will always come on at least 40 degrees. So use a single pole thermostat if you want to never have the heater off and use a double pole thermostat if you want the heater to have a true off switch. And that's, that's the deal on single pole versus double pole thermostats.